Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be testing out wireless HDMI. Now it does exactly as the name suggests and it basically transmits a HDMI signal wirelessly. So normally you would have, for example, your Xbox or your set-top box connected to your TV with a one or two meter HDMI cable and job is done, works perfectly. But now let's say if you wanted that set-top box also working in another room in the house or for example your Xbox working in another room, rather than having to constantly unplug your Xbox and carry it to another room, you could actually set up some sort of system of HDMI where then, as long as you've got range within your controller, you will be able to watch and play that in another room. So that's where this thing comes in here. Of course you can run a long cable, you can do it over Ethernet, there's other ways of doing it, but a lot of people like the idea of wireless HDMI because it means they don't have to run any cables. They just put the sender unit somewhere and then the receiver unit elsewhere and there's no cables in between. So it's a very easy thing to set up. Problem is, at this moment in time, 2018, it's very, very expensive. So this one here was £250. You can get cheaper ones, but the reason I got this one is because it advertises itself as having no lag, so no latency. As well as that, I went for the Pro model because you're supposed to get a longer range. With this one, you're gonna get 100 foot range. In other words, between the sender over there and the receiver, but, that's going to be if there's no obstacles in the way. So obviously, if you were in the middle of a field somewhere, then I'm sure it does work 100 foot. But who is going to use this in a field? Most people are going to use it in their house. And there's loads of obstacles in the way. And there's loads of other interference from things like cordless phones and Xboxes on the 5 gigahertz network, etc. So this video is going to basically move this setup here. You can see at the moment I've just got it uh, all plugged into this little monitor here. I'm going to move this into every single room in my house and see what the picture looks like and whether it works or not. And then it will give you an idea whether you want to invest £250 in this yourself. So basically the setup is, obviously you can plug any HDMI into this. I'm just using the set-top box here because I think that's quite a sensible option because a lot of people don't want to buy or rent for a second and third box in their house. So although with this you're gonna to have to watch the same thing in each room, the situation would be, for example, you watch it down here normally, and then when you go to bed, you might wanna watch it in your bedroom. So you don't mind the same channel being watched, you just want the option to be able to watch it in two rooms. So what's basically happening is, it comes out, I've got this little splitter here. So from the set-top box, I've got a HDMI cable going into the input of the HDMI splitter. You can get those splitters for well under 10 UK pounds from places like Amazon and eBay. And then you have two outputs. One of those white cables is feeding the TV, so I can still have the picture on the TV. The other white cable you can see here is going down, goes into a little joiner here, and I've plugged in the HDMI wireless sender. That's the sender unit. This one also needs power, so it's just plugged into a USB power supply down here. Now the reason I haven't plugged this straight into this splitter here is A, because it's too wide, it doesn't fit in there, and secondly, I wanna give it a bit of a fighting chance because if I was to tuck that right next to the deck phone and all the other noisy equipment, there's more chance of getting interference. So I just wanted to give it a little bit of room just to help it work as far as possible in my house. Now of course you can plug that straight into your set-top box there. The only problem is then, you're not going to be able to watch it on this TV here because that set-top box only has one output. Hence the reason I'm using a little splitter there. So if you have a look here now, I've got my remote control. If I was to point it at the set-top box there, you can see right now it's uh, going to be changing the channels. Okay, so as well as that, obviously the range of the remote control isn't gonna be great. And unfortunately, with this option here, you can't do IR through it. So what I've done is I've just downloaded this little app here. This is like a Virgin Media TV remote control app. And now I can actually via Wi-Fi, whenever I, whenever I am in Wi-Fi range, I will be able to change the channels and control certain features on my set-top box. So it's not such an issue when I go out of range of the remote control because I can just download it onto, for example, your phone, or this is a little iPod, 
and then you can still have it on the go there. So basically, I hope that makes sense. I've got the sender over there. I've got the receiver here. Again, the receiver has to be powered. So I've got HDMI feed in this little monitor here. And then I've got the receiver just powered from this little power bank here. You do get a power supply with it. So what's gonna happen normally is you would plug this in to, for example, a power supply in your bedroom. But the reason I'm doing it this way is just to make it easy so I can bring this around the house with me and test it in different locations. So as you can see, obviously it works fine here because we're only about a meter and a half away from it. Now let's start moving around. Okay, so we're in the back part of the room now. So we're still in the same room, but we're in the back part of it. This is around four or five meters away from the wireless sender. And right now it's still working absolutely fine. Picture's perfect, sounds perfect, everything looks good, and you would want to watch that. So at the moment it is 1080p, let me just show you that. If I go into a room where it struggles, what I'll do is I'll drop it to 720p to see if it helps, because normally when you use other things like HDMI over Ethernet, if you drop the signal to 720p, then uh, it really does help it. So let me just show you that. Uh, let me just show you that is on 1080p at the moment. There we go, 1080p. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to move into the kitchen and see how it performs there. Okay, we're now in the kitchen. We're about nine or ten meters away from the wireless HDMI sender, and it's still working fine here. Picture still looks good. It's still 1080p. Let me just flick through. So this is a HD one here. Still completely watchable, still looks good, sound and picture. Right, let's move to the back room. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in the back room, so let me show you what happens when you go out of range. So right now, you can still see it's working. And now you should see it start to get pixelated as I start to go in the back room. There you go, can you see the pixels coming? It's frozen up there, and now it's gone. There you go, it's come back again. and now it's gone again. So it's not gonna work in the back room and that's because this is an outside wall here. So it's a, a thick wall, it's two bricks thick and it's just asking too much for the wireless HDMI to work in there. When you go back into range again, you need to give it a good 20 seconds or so and then it will just start working again automatically. There we go. Right, let's move into the hallway. Okay, we're now in the hallway. We're about seven meters away from the wireless sender and it's gone through one wall to get here and it's still working absolutely fine in 1080p. So if I go to TV there, you can see there it's working fine. Picture, sound, everything perfect. Right, let's go upstairs now. Okay, we're now in the upstairs bedroom directly above where the wireless sender is. So in the room above where all the TV and everything is that you see at the beginning. And here, it is gonna work no problem here, because remember, it's only going through one ceiling to get here. Meters wise, you're probably looking at about maybe three meters, something like that. Not very far away at all. So it is gonna work fine here. Again, 1080p, everything's good. Let me just show you the remote control working. Now if I go up a couple of channels. Right, okay, let's go into the other bedroom, which is next to this, but still at the front of the house. Okay, we're now in the other front bedroom upstairs. Hazard a guess, we're probably around seven to eight meters away diagonally up to this point here. So we're gonna be going through a wall and a ceiling, and it still works perfectly, if you have a look there. Obviously, I've got the sound down just to save it being distracting, but if I put the volume up. Meanwhile, yeah, you can see it's fine. And the voice sync and everything is perfect. So there's no problem with watching it. The sync doesn't go out. Uh, but obviously this is a very expensive one that does advertise the fact that it's like zero lag. Right, okay, and if you have a look at the remote control still, you can see that the channels are changing there. Okay, let's now go to the back of the house where it should start to struggle because of the distances involved. We are now in the back bedroom upstairs. So we're probably gonna be around nine meters away. Again, it's going through a ceiling and also a wall as well. It's still working perfectly. Okay, so the sound, the voice sync, everything. There's no delay or anything. It's working as it should be. And it's still on 1080p. So let me just quickly show you that. Go 1080p, so I haven't had to drop it yet to 720p. Right, now let's go to the other 
back bedroom on the other side of the house. So where we are now, we're still the side of the house where the sender is. Now we're gonna be crossing over to the other side of the house, so the sender's then gonna to have to go even further, and it's gonna have another like wall, well, actually quite a few walls to get through, even in that diagonal orientation there. Well, right, okay, so in this back bedroom here, it's not working. You can see this is a threshold where I move into the bedroom, and I've had to put it out there. As soon as I drag this over, you will see that it will start to pixelate and then cut out. Right, so I'm starting to move it into the room now. Right, and if you have a look now, can you see that the picture has kind of gone there? Uh, can you see, you can see all the pixels there. And as I move this more into the room, so I'm moving the wireless HDMI now, there you go, you can see it's frozen. So it does not work in this room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it to 720p and then see if it makes a difference or not. Because at the moment it's still trying to do the 1080p. Well, okay, I've dropped it to 720p, but it's still no good, it's still cutting out on me. So if I was to go back to TV, and uh, if I was to start moving this away again, in fact, it's already gone now, you can see it's gone. So in this back bedroom here, this is definitely not an option at all. It's not gonna be working in this particular room. I think this would realistically probably, I'd say be about 10 meters away, if not maybe a little bit. Right now we're probably 10 meters away over where you would actually wanna use it, you know, by the bed, then you're gonna be looking more like 11 to 12 meters away and it just can't cope with it. Right, let me go into the bathroom now. Okay, so now in this bathroom, it's not working at all. So with this bathroom, we're about eight meters away diagonally, but we are going through a ceiling, a separate floor here, and also numerous walls in the way as well. So it's just asking it to do too much. Now it did work briefly, and then it just pixelated, froze up, and now it's not reconnecting again. I could bring this out of the room to make it reconnect, and then bring it back in again, but it's just gonna freeze and drop out again. So we've reached the level of where this is gonna work. So basically, that that is the video. As you can see, it does work, but limited to certain rooms that are near to the sender. So what do I think of the wireless HDMI? Do I think it's any good? I think it's very good within reason. You have to set your expectations of it at a sensible level. If you're wanting to use it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven possibly meters away from the sender, then it is gonna work and it should work as well if you're going, for example, one floor down into the basement or one floor up into a bedroom above where you've got the sender. But as soon as you start going through a floor and a wall or a couple of walls, it's not gonna work, not in my house anyway. Now in my house, it is gonna work better than most houses because this was built in the 70s and it's very thin chipboard flooring. The plasterboard in my house is only nine millimeters, a thin skimmer plaster. I have got breeze block walls, so uh, that is gonna hinder it a bit. If you were to live in a new build property with the stud walls of the plasterboard, then there's even less density there, so in theory it should work better. If you were to live in a Victorian or Edwardian property or a Georgian property, in my opinion, it's gonna work even less because of the lava and plaster ceilings and the floorboards. There's more weight there, so I, I would presume that the signal's harder to get through when there's more objects in the way. There's more density there for it to get through. So I do think it's good but you need to be realistic. So this one here is supposed to work up to 100 feet, which is over 30 meters, but you can see in this video here that I haven't got it working above 10 meters. And I would say in most properties, you're gonna to struggle to get whole house coverage. But there is things you could do. For example, you could put maybe a five or a 10 meter HDMI cable out of your set top box or your Xbox or whatever you're wanting to send around the place. And you could move that sender into a more central part of your property. And then if it's more central, then it's gonna have more chance to reach the rest of it. Right now, you've seen that with me, it was in the front room and pretty much in the corner of the front room. I did move it you know, a few meters away from the corner to give it a bit of a chance. But if that was maybe located more towards the middle of my property, then there's more chance that it would cover all the rooms in my property, apart from that extension out the back because nothing ever works out there. So hopefully it will help you out and hopefully you will now be more informed when you come to use wireless HDMI. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.